Building upon the foundation of a relationship with Jesus Christ and the experience of prayer as children, the legionaries and consecrated women guide and mentor young adults through the most challenging times of their lives. We now have young adults who know God's love in their own lives because of their experience in Regnum Christi. Whenever I first became a part of ECYD as a little girl, how consecrated, you know, teach you who God is and what role he really plays in your life. Not only is, you know, being that force that is there, that person that is so beautiful and that, you know, you have around you 24 seven, but how you can be in the world without being of the world. In my early stage of my conversion in high school, uh, the legionaries and consecrated were always the symbol of joy. Over time, as I like have come to know more of them, especially like Natalia Santos and Emily Roman, they have had monumental impact on my life, especially um, in my faith, because they are such good role models for like how somebody should live out their faith. So I met Father Patrick when I was about 11. Um, I was in Conquest, starting ECYD. I went to this camp and Father Patrick was there and he started teaching me how to become more spiritual, how to build my prayer life. He became like the person that I thought of when I thought of my spiritual life because he incorporated so much stuff that made my faith seem not just more fun, but also something that I want, something that I can make my own. I was actually introduced to this like camp through Father Andrew. He's one of the priests of Holy Spirit. So he introduced me to this like idea that, okay, like we would spend a week at Georgia Tech. We would like every single day, we'd listen to a few different business speakers, do fun like exercises and like different games with our friends. We met a lot of people from different backgrounds, different like areas in business as well. And then it also provided details into their relationship with God and their faith and how it's like impacted them in their journey to like success. One of the people that I actually found really interesting was one of the deacons that we spoke to. I was just completely mind blown because he literally like lived the life that I wanted to. Like he was involved in the finance industries. He worked somewhere like on Wall Street. It just sounded awesome to me. But then he revealed to me that actually like all his money, all his success, all his material belongings, didn't produce any sort of like long-term happiness. And that's what kind of led him to like, kind of like embrace God more closely in his life and actually decided to become a deacon. My key takeaway, what I learned most from this camp it was probably the legacy you leave behind and the, how you impact the community around you rather than just like purchasing like material luxuries and comforts, which like won't carry on into like your life in like paradise and heaven, so yeah. It wasn't until seventh grade that I actually went on my first ECYD retreat at Hidden Lake, and it was honestly like one of the most like life-changing experiences I've ever been on. The team leaders and the priests there were always just so engaging, and it was really like kind of my first step on the road toward like where I am today. I've become closer to my relationship with Christ. I've become much more devout in my prayer. So before becoming one of the formation directors, I grew up in ECYD. I was a challenge girl in fifth grade. My time in ECYD really prepared me by giving me not just the formation that I needed, but also giving me opportunities to practice that and to share the things that I'm learning with other people. The Consecrated Women of Regnum Christi, they have helped me understand that Jesus isn't just some force, but that he is, he's a friend. He's someone that's there within every step of our lives, within every step of our days. They helped me acknowledge that at a really young age, and that has been the foundation of my faith. I'm very open to the priesthood because of Father Patrick's example and how he was able to show me that it wasn't an outlandish idea and how hard he works every day and the skills that he has that he's able to incorporate into being a priest and giving glory to God. Yeah, he makes it just an amazing experience for us, life-changing really, and you know, if God's calling me to it, diocesan, legionary, Franciscan, whatever, I'm willing to listen. I'd like to think that as the consecrated women have been in my life, as the legionaries have been in my life, I'd like to think that I've played that role in other people's lives by, you know, being able to always talk about him. The Legionaries have been really big in like, what am I gonna do after high school? Most of all, what I wanna do with my life is I wanna serve other people. I have a calling to be a missionary. And so that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a big aspect that I'm gonna take to the, like, my next stage in life. Just being close to the Lord and to others and by serving other people as He did. The thread running through all these apostolates is that young people are mentored and invited to become leaders in the faith who can change the world one soul at a time. These young people are already serving as Christ's representatives. In a world that does not know peace and joy, 
They are oases of peace and joy. They can give what they have received. They have been accompanied, nurtured, and encouraged. Like saplings planted by a life-giving stream, they will amaze us with the fruit that they bear.